The show is about to begin, but Mark Guerrero is here with us. And Mark, tell us about what you're doing with the uh, Lalo Guerrero tribute. Well, my friend uh, Skip Heller, who... Uh is the one who transcribed the music off of my dad's old records. Uh, I've known him for many years. He backed my dad on several shows in the early 2000s and was friends with my dad as well. He invited me to be a part of the show and I'm singing uh, six songs in the show. And it's fantastic. I'm very excited because uh, he's got an eight piece band, fantastic musicians. So it's pretty exciting. And we're doing all styles. We're doing a cha-cha, we're doing some comedy, we're doing um, a rock and roll. We're doing a cumbia. So here we are in Palm Springs, my dad's adopted second hometown and my adopted second hometown. And uh, it's kind of cool to be here. My dad passed away 15 years ago, so it doesn't seem like it, but it's great that Skip and I and many other people are keeping my dad's music alive. Well, let's get inside and let's hear that show. Let's do it. Now, anybody who's lived in California for any length of time, you know, Lalo's music gets into your blood because it's all really about California and being here. On the other hand, we got somebody here who's got this music in his DNA and is a wonderful musician and a wonderful songwriter and a great friend and giving us a wonderful honor. Please welcome Mark Guerrero. I want to thank my friend Shannon Romero, Mr. Hit Baby Shake, for coming. And uh, this first song we're going to do is a song that my dad wrote in the mid 50s. And it was based on something he read in the newspaper. Uh, a woman came forth and said that she remembered past lives. Her name was Bridie Murphy. And this was before Shirley MacLaine, before the New Age movement. So it was big news. So my dad said, I'm going to write a song about it. So here it is Maestro. One, two, three. Thank you to Nick Ornelas, the co-leader of the band, 
and all these fantastic musicians. I think that's about all there is to say. Uh, you know, it was a big cha-cha craze in the late 50s. And my dad never missed a craze or, or, anything, or any other thing. Uh, I was used to tease him. I said he never left any stone unturned to write a song by. Him. So here's his, it's a cool cha-cha. One, two, one, two.